Hello, hello. This is Alina. I picked up a jewelry jar today. I told myself I wasn't going to because they're pricey at Goodwill. But then I saw this. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. It says Selpata. So I grabbed it. It's got other interesting things in here too. You know, some gemstone type stuff. So I thought I'd give it a shot. Let's see what else is in here. So thank you for tuning in and watching my videos. You know, feel free to comment. I enjoy comments. A thumbs up would be awesome too. So this one was $30 and I got it for, it was like 25. And first thing I forgot to grab was a pair of scissors. Let's see what I can use instead. I don't know if you can hear all that screaming, but I live right next door to a big charter school. So and they have recess. Oops. I'm probably going to have to grab some scissors, right? can't believe I forgot them. Dang, that keeps sticking to my tool. Maybe if I quit putting it by it. Almost there. I went to both thrift stores that I like to go to. And I think the Ark has quit selling jewelry jars. Because they haven't had any for over a month. And when I asked about them, they said they haven't had any. So. Looks like there's broken stuff in here. Ah. There we go. Yep, lots of broken stuff here. They're all glass, or real stone, so I'm pretty excited about that. Let's see. Let me start this off. There's some faux pearl bangles, or stretchies. Bangles. <laughs> That's funny. These are a pretty color. Do people really wear a lot of these all the time? Because I never notice anybody with pearls on. Move this back just a smidge. Just my light. Here we go. So that's our starting. And a broken seed necklace. So it's kind of Throw that away. Little Aurora Borealis broken cup link bracelet. Put that over here. Oh. I'm not sure if this is real leather, but it feels nice. It's got a tag. Tasha. I'm sure it's one of those wraparounds. Looks to be in pretty good shape, too. I like these. I 
Yeah, that's a nice one. Move some of these earrings out of the way. And... More beads. Something's broken here. I can't remember what this tag goes to. Maybe I'll find the rest of it. This is a stretchy that's lost its stretch. And those beads look like silver. Oh, there's a little pool. But they look just like Thai silver to me. those out because I can always use some more Thai silver beads. Next is a pretty scratched up watch. It's in really bad shape. I'm just going to throw that away. I hope everyone's having a good day. That's cute. I like the little seed beads leaped in there. The antique bronze. That's huge. It's for someone with a bigger wrist. That's super cute. Super cute. This, this jar kind of looks boho y to me, which I like. It says NTL. I'm not sure what that means. Just a inexpensive necklace. Jute wrapped beads, little ceramic ones. Just inexpensive. I like these beads though. I don't know if they're acrylic or horn, but they're cool. I'll put that right there. And today's first tangle is brought to you by this little number. Just a simple seed bead necklace. I think it's supposed to be twisty. Or at least I like it better twisty. And browns and like a cream color. Actually, I think if it hangs for a while, it'll regain its shape. I kind of like it. I like layering stuff. Oh, no, wouldn't layer with that. But I think it's cute. I don't like the purple here. I'll have to check that. This one, I think, is broken. Looks like I got some broken stuff. I wonder if that goes with this. No. This one has some cool beads. I like these cloth-covered ones. And these acrylic beads. I think it's a good piece for craft lot. Plastic elephant, adjustable type thing. Huh. It's kind of cute. Bangles. 
I get some pairs of earrings. Ah, I guess recess is over. I got quiet. Well, this is plasticky. I like the design element of it. I think it's cool. I might use that for a reference or something. The coconut S. After the last jars I got, I discussed it with my daughter, Jess, and we decided that the bad vibes I was getting had to have been from, that's cool, um, I think maybe like breakup jewelry. And the reason why I say that is everything is energy. Everything. This is energy. Um, and if you don't believe me, just look up quantum physics. And a lot of times people, when they're angry, hurt, sad, their energy attaches to things. I really like this. I don't like this rubbery thing, though. But anyways, um, I think I got a piece of breakup jewelry or something, but I ended up uh, burning some sallow palo and clearing the negative energy out of my place because I was just angry for like a week before it dawned on me that it was probably that. So I really super like this. I'm not sure what that is, but it's cool. I'm gonna look that up. So if you ever open up a jar and you find yourself at feeling different, get some sage or something and smudge. Get rid of that negative energy. This is cool too. I kind of like this. This is like my favorite chain too. It's cute. Doesn't have a name or anything, but I don't care. I'll wear it. I like it. I think it's backwards. I think it goes this way. cute. My style. It's just a stretchy. I like these little beads though. Let me take this apart. I need to get back to making some jewelry. Oh my gosh. Look at this. That is like so creepy, but yet cool. I don't know if you can hear my dog's crying. I blocked him. <laughs> he's not happy. Of course, he's never happy, but... Look at this. I wonder what kind of beetle that is, or bug. That is cool. I don't like the cording, but I feel like I need to make something with that. Super cool. Anything sticking to my magnet. Just a little liquid silver like necklace. I don't see any kind of make 925 on it. Let me see if I can push this back. Boy. Not 
silver. It's kind of a fakey, I guess. It's earrings. This is looks definitely handmade. It's got some broken beads on here though. Looks like they last three. And this clasp. I believe it says 925. Or not 925. Maybe. You can't see that far. Nine five four? I never heard of that. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look at that better in better light. Not really sure. Of course it could be the insides. But looking at these beads, these are crystals. Quartz. Quartz beads. And these are a little, some kind of seed. And I'm not sure what this wire is. Hopefully it's like scrap gold, right? That would be cool. Oh, these are Thai beads. I have some like this, they're copper and silver. So I'm wondering if these are silver. And this looks silver. It's because I've bought this stuff before. Yeah. That's cool. I like that and it's got like pink crystals. That's a cute little bracelet. I like how they paired the pink with the copper. I think I'm going to wear this one. I have a bunch of these type of coppery beads with silver on them. Back when I was making a lot of silver to jewelry. It's been a while though. And here's the piece that I saw through the jar. Somewhere in here it says Silpata, right there. Silpata. 925 right there. Yep. Totally worth the jar right there. Both of these. So. A new collection to my Silpata. Just needs a little cleaning. I like Silpata. I like the earthiness of it. Hey, may else like Silpata? What's your favorite kind of jewelry? This is just a really, really bad, cheap bracelet. Really bad. Something broken. Also inexpensive. And another match to those pearls. Oh, this is old. It's an old, uh, old clasp. It's a tumbled chip. I like the tumbled when they tumble them because they're softer. 
and brass beads. That's nice. And then there's this bracelet, just glass beads and halite. Interesting little design. Huh. Nice little watching. And this pendant with the um. It's like clay. It's kind of cool. I like that too. I did like this jar. It does have that like, boho vibe. And I was in the mood for a little boho. This is just an inexpensive necklace, but the crystals are good. Even the feather's pretty good. But the rest is pretty, pretty cheap. But definitely the dangles are good. Let me skip that down too. Oh, and here's another one of these. So I'm guessing these are silver also. Ugh. I don't know. Maybe not. Ugh. I'll check them. I haven't done any testing in a while. I've never seen one of these like this. I think somebody definitely made this one. They're really icky. Magnetic clasp. It's really worn. Look at all that. Yeah, it's pretty. Pretty shot. Looks like vintage crystals here. But I can't verify that. Real lovely check beads and crystals. That's nice. Definitely needs a washing. I don't normally like these. I know there's people out there that do, but I think I find them to be kind of heavy. <laughs> so I'm not a fan. Here's another magnetic clasp. I don't know if these are wood or nuts. These are nuts. And a magnetic clasp with a safety. On a memory wire. They shouldn't have put it on a memory wire. There's another little handmade with little tie beads. And I believe this is 925. Yep. So that's all right there. I don't know if you can see that. Endo! Stop. With some pearls. That's cute. I may have to let him in here. I've tried to block him out. These look like uh, pitcher jasper beads with a tree of life. He's cute. More pearls with a piece of abalone. Endo! This is like a marble. And I don't mean like round marble. I mean like countertop marble. Or a slab. And what's this called? Uh, blood ox? Something like that. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've had some. 
I think I like it better this way. <laughs> oh, you sound so pathetic. Listening to him cry. But if I let him in here, he'll just cry right here. He's a big crybaby. And people say pit bulls are mean and scary. But mine is just a big crybaby. Well, this is made by somebody. It's got a lot of copper. Those are not tie beads. Amethyst. Lapis. Citrine. Oh, I can't remember the name of this. I have a piece of it. It looks like moss agate. Maybe turquoise, I'm not sure. And these might be onyx. But the little spacers are, they're just nothing. Don't, those don't feel like real anything either. That's cool. Little infinity. <laughs> I'm sorry. You probably should. Endo! Oh, I can never catch a break with him. When I try to sort through jewelry, I sit on my couch because he likes me to sit on my couch and then he wants to lay in it. So I end up not getting anything done. Drives me crazy. And this is the last of the jar. Get this watch out of the way. Bulvgari. Oh, it's got it right across here, too. I've never heard of this. BVL Gari. Not sure. I like the... the band on it. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of... It's got a shimmer. Very classy looking. I like it. And there's this one. Just says Studio Time. I don't know, does anybody really know anything about watches? This one's small. That's cool. This reminds me of, I want to say Inglebright. Can't think of what her name is. She does kind of whimsical things like this. It doesn't have a name on it. And they, the staples to make it a pendant? I'm not quite sure. Mary Inglebright? Maybe that's her name. I don't know, no markings, but it's cute. I like crescent moons. Memory wire. Oh, it's a tiny one. Kind of a mixture of glass and or pitcher jasper, and I don't think that's real amber. Dalmatian. Um, why is this stone escaping me? Ah, I should know it. You'll come to me. When I least expect it. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to give him a treat. Poor babies. 
no real name brand stuff in here, but I don't really care. This is just a tiny over while I'm waiting on my thread up jar that's taking forever and a day. And this is a J. Crew. Clasp is pretty worn. Is that an earring? No. Hey, it's two necklaces. Oh, okay. Is it just kind of a slider with wood beads and it's kind of interesting. I like the color. Chain's an okay shape. Clasp is pretty worn. I like the beads. These are interesting. Look at that. Those look like, um, oh, why can't I, I can't think. All I can hear is my dog crying. And no. Stop. No. Go lay down. Uh, reminds me of snake. Uh, oh, hold on. Discs, like spinal, little spine discs or something. It's probably not the right word, but that's what it reminds me of. And then the glass beads are cool too. They're vintage. Huh. Anybody knows what those are called? I'd appreciate it. I don't know why I can't think of it. But it's cool. And there's big, this big thing. Wow. Glitter. Just acrylic beads. No, they're wood. No, they're acrylic. I'm not sure what they are. They make the knock sound like wood. But they have a coating on them. And I can't see inside. It'd be cool repurposed. Except for these. And not a fan of these. I don't know. What's next? I broke a necklace. The thread, this silk thing's unraveling. These always make the coolest necklace or earrings. I don't know how I feel about them as a necklace. Maybe it needs a chain and like a good washing. Might be cool. I'll have to see what I can do with that. It is, it is plastic, but I still like it. I don't like this, but it's still fun. I like fun. And this definitely looks homemade. It's kind of interesting. I don't know if that's a four leaf clover or a cross. The rest is just Inexpensive. I like the two beads though. I might take that apart. Take it apart. I think this is an earring. I'm not sure. And my final 
stuff is a big tangle. Let me see if I can get it. This one is an earring. Those are kind of weird. I'm going to cheat because this doesn't look like it goes together. It needs to be closed anyways. Oops. It's a plastic horn, kind of a coppery color, gold coppery, maybe it's just worn. Cool. This looks like Claire's. Oh, it's got lots of little charms. It says, really, I love you. It definitely has that Claire's look, you know, inexpensive. Store. Yeah. This one came apart when I took that off. I don't know about you, but I like the shoe. <laughs> don't like the bow because it's all worn and the flowers, you know, it's all right, but I like the shoe. The shoe's pretty cool. I'm definitely taking the shoe off. And it's pink. I like pink. I'm guessing this is either a bracelet or an anklet. And it looks like it's probably from someplace like Claire's Little Randstone Stations. An ear cuff. I guess these are coming back in style. This isn't a very well made one though. And I like this one. What, what does that say? Serenity. And it's got my birthstone on it. I have a Peridot. And it's got a little faceted one. I'm going to Test the clasp. Not silver. It's still, I like it. This is a chippy one. I don't normally like chippies. Unless they're my birthstone. <laughs> they're super pretty. And last but not least, wow. This is definitely somebody handmade this. Uh, something right there. Probably like 120th carat. 120th. 14 120th. 1420. G. Yeah, so there's that. These remind me of pineapple quartz, though. But they could be just dyed. But that's what pineapple quartz looks like. I like pineapple quartz. I have some faceted I bought at the gem show. It's 
pretty. All right, down to earrings. Let's get these feather ones out of the way. Maybe. These little peachy colored feathers. And what looks to be pheasant. Pheasant feathers. And there's these, where are they? These two. These two are crazy. Somebody definitely made these. Padlock. And a key. In red and green. Huh. Those are interesting. Great big brass and copper hoops. Kind of heavy. Okay, anything else here have a match? These two have a match. Those are cute. And I have a single like this. It's pretty bad shape. This looks like alpaca. Mexico. I believe that says alpaca. Yep. Alpaca. Might be cute as a pendant. One of these from like the 70s, I guess. A little shell type earring and one dangle. So that's it. So as far as favorites, the Silpata, cause I love Silpata. Let me push this back. Birthstone. I like this too. And this one. I like the beads in this one. Very interesting. Okay, the bug. I like the bug. I know I'm crazy. So a lot of stones in here. I think I'm gonna go for some more boho stuff. Because I got a lot of stone beads. This, this one's kind of cool too. I like this. And this one. This one. I don't know. I kind of like them all. This one, except for the rubber. Whatever this is. Which was your favorite? This too. It's Mary Inglebright looking thing. Which was your favorite? Oh, here's another earring I missed. Did I miss something else? Apparently I missed this too. Anything else? Oh, and I missed this frog. It's like Feels like rubber. Right, now I'm gonna look, because I think I missed stuff. Oh, I think that's it. A rubber frog. I like frogs. So, nope, that's it. What I did because I 
I got because I'm tired of waiting for my thread up. I just wanted to open something. It's, you know, it's an addiction. This is pretty cool. I think I have the necklace to match it. I have a lot of Sopata. I haven't decided if I want to give it up yet, though. It's a bug. Bug's pretty cool. Beetle. There's a beetle of some sort. Pretty cool. So, let me know what you think. Um, beware of bad vibe jewelry. Um, if you start feeling anxious, tense, angry, sadness, um, yeah, get yourself some white sage or I have this, uh, Salo Palo Santo, I believe is what it's called. Gets rid of negative vibes and brings in the good stuff. And yes, I am that crazy person that does like... Jewel, um, stones for healing and like these are good for protection so yes that's me in a nutshell iron oxide I think is what this is called I could be wrong but anyways let me know what you think tell me your favorite piece um, leave me a message uh, I would love to hear from you oh I did miss something else. I missed this bracelet. But it's just plastic. <laughs> I think. I'm not sure. Anything else? I think that's it. I think I got everything. Yeah, I think I got everything now. I don't know how I missed those. Have a wonderful day, and uh, thank you.